he can fell is a game I've been looking forward to, to playing. I don't really know much about it except that it starts or takes place at a magic school. It's an RPG, and the music was done by Ivy and Sarashu. So, that's enough for me. Also, there's cats instead of frogs. For saving. I don't know anything about this game, though, so I'm just using my regular game uh, layout. The trail ends here? You've gotta be kidding me. Did I take a, a wrong turn? Ah, yes, magic trees. No big deal. You can fell must be close. Also, it could be like Eichenfell. I have no idea. <laughs> Another dead end? Don't give up. It's late. I guess I'll camp out here. At least there's a lot of wood to make a fire. Press A to search objects and pick up any you find. One firewood. Pigs? I need to go back. Here we go. Oh, hey there, cutie. Good plan. I'm starting to have regrets about coming here. My sister's probably fine. I bet she's just up to her usual trouble. She did tell me that there were cats all over Ekenfell. Apparently that's not unusual for a witching school. But it might mean I'm getting close. Hey, what's got you so spooked? What? Who are... Screech. Ah, my ears. Be gone, ordinary human. Um, that noise, please stop. You are no witch, no wizard. I know I'm not, but... Ekenfell is no place for ordinaries. Ooh. Now be gone. My sister, she is a witch, and... You will leave here, willing or not. In an encounter, your goal is to defeat the opposing team. Everyone takes turn moving around and performing actions. This is the turn order, so you can see who goes next. You want to keep an eye on this to avoid any nasty surprises. Sort of tactical RPG-ish. Now it's your turn. Move around with directions and A button to confirm. This is your action then. Use directions and A to confirm. If you want to move to a new position, press B to cancel. Once you've chosen an action, I hadn't actually been paying attention to the levels. It doesn't sound like it's much quieter than it might be the base. Mm. 
It doesn't sound like it's much louder than when I started testing. Which, uh, why is that beep? about what you have to say that, but I already used it. Good day's work, fellows. Hehe, <laughs> I love scaring them off. She put up a fight, though. Let's take her out of here before she regains consciousness. Things are strange enough that you can tell us it right now. We can't afford surprise visitors. Got it, boss. Wait, was that? Ow, wow, wow. What is this? What have you done to me? Boss, was that magic? Indeed it was. But magic like I have never seen before. Girl, why didn't you say you were a witch? I'm not a witch. I've never done anything like that before. What's happening to me? I... I can't say. This is completely unprecedented. I am really cool. I agree. Can you do it again? Again? I can't... Please, indulge us. Fierce magic. Did you see that oops though? It's because you missed your hit timing. Try once more. Alright, watch carefully this time. When you cast a spell, you should see a red ring. Right now, press the A button. If you time your spells correctly, you get a nice or a great. Nice does more damage, but great does is the most powerful. Every spell has different hit timing, so pay close attention. Oh, press the A button now. You can also use your hit timing to defend against incoming attacks. A nice reduces damage, but a great means you barely get scratched. The enemy attack is unique, though, so pay close attention. It's like uh, Paper Mario or Attack the Light. Oops. Tremendous job, my dear. What a strange power.
I'm seeing my levels go up to about negative, uh, oh, in the yellow. But never when I look at it, so I don't know what sounds are doing that. Does this mean I don't get to do the spooky voice anymore? Magic is so cool. Incredible showing, young one. Let me introduce myself. I am Eok, captain of the Ghost Legion. The woods around Ikafel can be dangerous, strange magic and all, so our job is to keep the ord keep ordinaries from venturing in. My, my name is Mariette. Do you know what's happening to me? Why can I do this? I have absolutely no clue. Many strange things have been happening around here at, of late. It started not long after the students left for the summer. And the school is currently under lockdown. That explains why Safina never came home. We never got word. I was worried. So I traveled here to find her. Ah. The Hildegard girl. She is quite famous in these parts. You are her sister? I am. Do you know if she's okay? I'm sorry. There's been no word from Ekenfell since the lockdown. But sometimes students stay at the school during the summer. Saf always comes home. She would have told us. Will you let me through to Ekenfell so I can find her? Uh, hmm. I must think on it. Rest here for the night. We will stand guard, so you'll be in no danger. Chapter 1. School of Magic. Conked out. <laughs> hmm. Good morning, young Marriott. Marit. Marit. I've been saying it wrong. Marite? Marit. Yeah, you're still here. So it wasn't all a dream. Of course. Do you still wield your newfound power? See if you can light the fire. I guess that also wasn't a dream. I've decided we'll let you pass through Ekenfell. Through to Ekenfell. I hope you find your sister in good health. But also, it is a school of magic. So you might find an explanation for your sudden powers. Thank you, Eok. I opened the way for you. Unfortunately, we cannot escort you further. The headmistress herself assigned us to stand guard here. It's okay. I can make it the rest of the way. There's just one more th one thing. To open the passage beyond, you must light two lanterns. A spirit resides within them. A spirit residing in within them observes all who, th who pass through. Got it. May the great raven guide you, young fire witch. Where did Dancer get off to? I want to sneak up and scare him. Yeah. Be careful out there, young fire witch. Who's to tell you what your new strange magic is capable of? Who's to tell? Who you can buy? I have a knife. Why is my knife not equipped? I guess it's just a pocket knife. More speed, less defense. Less speed, more defense. 
Overliables. I want to keep speed. I'm not going to get used to this. It seems no matter what I do for Steam's controller setup, um, it's not consistent whether the B button or the X button on my uh, controller is... is back, is the B button or the X button, basically. Um, I, there is a photosensitive mode here, and I'm not sure what flashes exactly it's referring to. I'm going to keep it off until I get an example, but I also have content warnings on, so probably unlikely anything will happen. Oh, we have a map. Without us being warned first. Seems like there is an amount of food preference. What up, young one? There are strange creatures in the woods ahead. Your magic will be stronger if you have way a way to channel it. Channel it? Like a wand? Correct! But it doesn't have to be a wand specifically. Any handheld object will do, especially if it's old and cherished. To make those to make the most power those make the most powerful wands. Do you have anything like that? I have an old pocket knife I carry around. That's perfect. You can press Y to access your items and equipment. Make sure you've got it equipped before you move on. Completely forgot about that. I got so caught up in my um Alright, there's running too. There's the wrong button. Right, that's why I went into the options to see if there was any control mapping. Doesn't look like it. A cat. Where are these lanterns Yox spoke of? Scenes can be stipped by pressing the Y button. Well, I'm not a speedrunner, so... Pet the cat. It's purring relaxes you. Apparently, when you just play this, there should be a lantern here, so I have to find the lantern. People experience uh, their cats just coming over and enjoying it while they play. I have no idea where Murphy is. He usually tries to be in here. I also have headphones on, so it might not matter. Oh, living rocks. Oops. This is how I die. HP. Maybe 2 HP. HP. So there isn't like basic attacks, it is all magic it seems. Why avoid enemies? I don't want to, like... The underleveled. We know how that worked out last time. I wonder if the mushroom is... Lamba Bull. I want to see what the mushroom is. Get rid of you.
Hmm. Fascinating. I have a feeling there's such things as back attacks. Always gotta get hit by an attack full burst before you're able to really evade it. It's delicious. So if I'm gonna get more mushrooms, let's go ahead and maintain our health. That box is shaking. Roxy. Well, that's a lantern. Oh, he found me. Maybe I should should have found a better hiding spot. Well, you won't find my other half so easily. Guess I should have expected that to be the kind of lantern we're looking for. about you. Sends me there. Oh, secret. Hot berry. Good luck finding my other half. A hot berry, power boost, defense boost. Makes sense. Wait, what's a common coin? Okay, so it's like you have the normal gold and then you have bigger money in exchange for gold. Classic nugget scenario. Fireball. But maybe not on these. There isn't like MP, is there? So the red circle's specific to the flames. All of the animations are very specific to each magic. Go ahead and get the 
this down. None of that. sure if I'm pressing too early or not is the thing. Probably, probably too early. I'm doing when it hits, not when it explodes. Say. Oh boy. up like that. I'm just gonna do something fun. Now you're all out of order. Oops, I didn't even pay attention. That's butts. Great on the fireball. It doesn't do more damage than ignite. Okay. But it does do damage to multiple objects, so you know what? I'm glad there's no MP after the after the MP balance in the previous game. Mother three. Offensive item, I guess. Oh, you found me! He, <laughs> or half of me at least. Good job. There's just one thing left to do. sound the sound cue for the fireball down I think I'm always better at those than visual that's uh, probably I'm not going back through that maze oh, yeah I'm definitely not going back through that maze because I can just go back over here 
I lost my way. I lost my way in the woods. What have I done? Well, I guess you made it this far. Now the real show begins. Ah, it's a boss battle, ain't it? I have to fight fire with fire. I should have talked to the cat first. Wehehe, <laughs> thank you, darling. I'm back together again. You want to pass through to Ekenfell? Come, let me have a closer look at you. Wehehe. <laughs> Not until I heal the power of cat furs. Oh, look at you. So full of conflict, yet burning so bright. Normally I'd just let folks pass through. But things have changed. I'm feeling all charged up. Let's make this interesting. Oh boy. Flame explodes, damaging anyone next to it. Oh boy. That's me. What? That attack barely even scra scratched it. Maybe there's another way to deal more damage. Well, the physical attack. So what about this one? What happens if I do this? Okay, same thing. I just need it to kindle. And it might need to be perfectly adjacent. So I don't know how I'm going to fade it, but... I don't know, man. That's just going to roll me. still damage it. There's no need to not. Oh, butts. What are we doing now? <laughs> that wasn't too bad. I mean, so like, I'm very familiar with Ivy and Sarashi's music. But there's something about this. Well, great work, darling. Now off to magic school with you. There's something about part of some of the battle music, specifically, that, like, there's that sort of Steven Universe-y vibe, but there's also, like, a Mega Man Battle Network vibe to it, which is very fitting, given the, um, arena setup. I really need to replay Mega Man Battle Network. Like, other than the first one. Like, I need to obtain the collection. <laughs> 
so that I can play more than the first one because I lost all of my Game Boy cartridges except for that. North you can fell, south the stock and barrel. Stock and barrel. So what are you? Stack. Silly stack. Okay, can I reach you from there? Not. is an oops, huh? Not, like, if it said miss, I'd be less... Oh boy. Now, it, it may seem weird what I just said about Mega Man Battle Network music when this is very, like, cowboy sounding. It's less about the actual instrumentation and more about the vibe. Like, there's just acoustic guitar replacing the 16-bit synth instead. <laughs> University Village. Oh, okay. A college town. Stock and borrow. You're home away from home. Out of on an errand. We'll return later. Stock Bombery. Building feels oddly familiar. Hmm. While I am, like, I have not, like, recalled anything about this game in the viewings I have seen... Why are the birds mean? The birds are mean. Okay. I have seen a couple speed runs of this. I think it was the same person, just two different runs of it. I didn't retain anything from that. There is so much out of bounds that you can do. So... I have no idea what the story progression is like. You're a powerful one. the woods. The gate to Ekenfell is near. I can feel it. I didn't notice that she was doing narrative stuff like that up there. Sound cue I've been using is a little risky. <laughs> Not too bad. Secrets. 
rare gem. Increases power over speed. I'm gonna keep a speed. For her at least. Until I get more party members. That's why I'm keeping with speed. <laughs> Safina's hat. Mine. W what? Yeah. Which hat? Mine now. Thanks. Which hat? That hat. That's my sister's hat. Sister? I don't see her. Guess it's mine then. Ugh. Let me go. As you wish. My hand is burning? So people have new magic too, not just creatures. New witch, sticking your head into hats. It doesn't... New witch, sticking your head into hats that don't belong in. Stay away from this beret fray. Oh, he's, he needs some... This kid needs some grammar. I would not like for, for you to get hurt. I don't believe that. You just hurt me. Her. I don't even think this is like that kind of game where you have a specific role play. What was that all about? So this is Ekenfell's outer wall, huh? But Safina would never leave her hat behind. Looks like the gate is just up ahead. Is this the gate to Ekenfell? It doesn't seem to go anywhere. Gee, I wonder if it's magic. What do we have here? It's making a strange noise. Safina? I can hear her voice, but it sounds strange. Younger? What? What was that? Everything is... fuzzy? Oh, I think we're in a memory. Oh, uh... Excuse me, are you a ghost too? She doesn't even see me. Ah, this place is so weird. What is going on? I 
can't... I can't wait to learn some cool magic. S Safina! You're... Why are you so young? Ahem. Welcome to Eakenfell, School of Magic. I see you have all donned your new uniforms. And clasp on your cape... Bears... The clasp... The clasp. The clasp on your cape bears Eakenfell's insignia. It is enchanted and will protect you within these walls. Now reach deep into the pockets of your coats. As deep as you can. Coats of holding. My whole arm fits inside. And what do we have here? Uh, what? Some bottles and pens? Boring. Each witch and wizard has their specialty, magic they ex excel at. But potions and enchantments are core tools for every spellcaster. You have been provided a basic kit for learning these essentials. Skills. Who cares about that boring stuff? Me? Psst, hey. I can't wait until I can turn invisible. I'll be able to sneak anywhere I... around anywhere I want. Hey, what's your name? I'm Petron Petronella. Please shh. I don't want to get into trouble. Hey, you're pretty cute. Oh uh, yeah, this is gonna be great. Hmm, <laughs> Miss Hildegard. That's me. Call me Saf. Miss Hildegard. I know it is your very first day. Is your first day, and you're very excited. But please contain yourself at least until we are inside the walls. Now, this gate may not look like much, but it is... Yeesh. Hey, Petronella. What's the cr- Who's the crotchety old lady? Who's the- You don't know? That's Headmistress Al- Aeldra. Aeldra? I think so. She runs the school. Now, shh. We are now witches and wizards of Inkenthal. Let us enter. Choose your class tree, witch, wizard, and secret, alchemist, third tree. Sap, wait! What is happening? Is this a memory? A dream? All this magic is just trying to mess with me. I don't get it. But maybe I can find another way in inside. I can go behind it. Definitely some like secret paths here. A flying hat. What will they think of next? They told us something strange was happening at Eakenfell. That sure took me by surprise. I wish you would take this more seriously, sir. The forest is out of control. Something strange is happening here. Bax, you need to relax a little. They sent us to take care of it, and we will, as usual. And please, don't call me sir when it's just the two of us. It is not just the two of you anymore. Oh, hello there. You must be a student. Uh, actually, I... Ibn Oxley, at your service. And my exceedingly handsome compatriot here is Bax Twyford. Twyford? Why? Twyford? But you probably already knew that. Uh... Sorry, I've never heard of you. But really? Well, if you've been paying attention to the magazine covers, you'd know. Yours truly is the most powerful wizard in the coven. Bax here is here to assist me on a secret mission for the coven. 
I told them it was fine. I was fine on my own, but he insisted. Sir, it's not a secret mission if you tell everyone. Don't be a fuss. It's nothing I can't handle. We're just here to find the headmistress and a red-headed girl. Red-haired girl. Hmm. Red hair, teenager. And she doesn't know about the famed Ibn Oxley? Definitely suspicious. Wait. You say you're looking for a red-haired girl? I'm a genius, Bax. We found one of our suspects. Hmm. I heard she's one of Ekenfell's most talented students. Let's have a little duel to see if what she's capable of. Sir, I don't think that's... You can hang back, Bax. Let me handle this one. Wait! I... Don't have HP. Prepare yourself for my ultimate attack. The Oxley Special. Oh, it's... <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, was that it? <laughs> Ibn, please, do not exert yourself. Even the nice does only one. <laughs> I, I don't know. Do I have to take out backs? <laughs> A noble foe indeed. How do they get past the lantern? <laughs> The lantern doesn't usually fight things. What is your strange magic, girl? I've never seen anything like it. Yep, I knew it. She's not our girl. I just had to test her, to be certain. Let's go. We have to find a way into the school. It was a pleasure dueling. It's a good thing I went easy on you. My magic is actually much too powerful to be fighting children with. I'm not a child. Wait, are you looking for... Sorry, no time for autographs. I have a secret mission to attend to. Yeah, please don't just vanish without me, sir. Ah, uh, is everybody like this in the magic world? Why are people looking for my sister? Safina, what have you gotten yourself into? Secret passage. Well, I want to see if there's a cat over here first. Oh, we're back here. Hey, it stops back, but I am a safe player, if anything. 
back to the spring relaxes you. Oh, there sure are a lot of people here for stock having just gotten back. Was that the dancer? Are you sure you can finish that? I'll trade drinks if you want. Don't patronize me. I can empty a cup as well as anyone. Buddy, it's larger than you are. We always sit at the same table every time. It's our favorite spot. Sometimes I wonder, I wonder if I'm missing out. We came so far north just to find a school locked up. I really wanted to see the library too. To be honest, I'm kind of glad Ekenfell is temporarily shut down. The drinks up north are strong. Sure. Hey, Red, long time no see. Me? Oh, I'm so sorry. I thought you were someone else. You do look a lot like her. Since we haven't met, let me introduce myself. I'm Zane, the Gem Witch. Ooh, crystal witches. My sister told me about you. She spoke of a witch who can turn gems into magical items. Correct. And I'm setting up my trade in Inkenfell for a while. But ever since the monsters started appearing, I haven't been able to do my craft. You seem well-traveled. Can I ask you for a favor? Perfect. Let me explain. Inkenfell is full of magic gems. Shiny ones, sparkly ones, rare ones. Even if folks find them, they don't know what to do with them. That's where I come in. With just a few gems, I can work wonders. If you find any, bring them to me, and I'll craft you something wonderful. Turn magic gems into useful items? Sounds good to me. It's bad form to set up shop in someone else's establishment, so I've set myself up a cozy little gem trade just outside. Come visit me when you found some gems for me to work with. Sniffle. Hello, traveler. Or a student? No matter. My inn is open to magic folks and creatures of all kinds. Cool. Warm and snug. I have to wonder if I'm going to need, like, warmer stuff later. Somebody crying? Oh, you can't, like, enter. I found a warm snuff before buying one. Can't interact with much, huh? Oh, oh dear. The cat door opens its mouth. But you're not sure what it wants? Oh boy, there are cat doors. Can I just, like, go in? No? Huh. <sighs> now what? You're looking a bit lost over there. Can I whip you up something, uh... It's Mari. Thank you, that'd be great. That'll do the trick. It's on fire. Wow. <laughs> That's got some fire to it. It's called Hester's Breath. Named after the storybook dragon, of course. Do the witches around here all like spicy drinks like this? Most of them. One of you can fill students actually came up with the recipe for this one. In fact, she looked kind of... <laughs> kind of like you. Let me guess, Safina Hildegard? The wild child herself. You related? I'm her sister. She's gone missing, and I came here myself hoping to find her. Ah, but now the school's all closed off. I don't know where she is, or if she's even still in the school. Oh, 
Oh, Petronella might know. Petronella? Sabina's friend? Petronella was visiting the barrel when the school shut down. But now they're stuck out here with the rest of us. Is Petronella still here? Third room down the hall. The crying room. The last I saw them, they were looking pretty glum. Good luck to you. Saved. The impulse to save. Uh, Petronella, is that you? Sniff. Who is it? My name's Marit. I'm Safina's sister. I'm looking for her. I was hoping you could help me out. Safina's sister? Door unlocks. Content warning, self-hate. Your... Um... Petronella, right? Sniff. Are you alright? I'm really sorry to bother you. But I'm worried about Safina, and I think something might... Something happened to her. So you and Safina bet in your first year, right? She's quite a handful, but she usually means well. Are you... really Safina's sister? Ah, take a look at me. It's obvious, isn't it? She talked about you lots when she came home every summer. Now never likes any of my plans, but they come along anyway. She always says she says you're an amazing al alchemist. Is that like potions and stuff? Y yeah. She said that. Yep. She said she'd sneak out to the school all the time, dragging you along. Yeah. At first I was so scared of getting in trouble. But it always... It was always nice to hang out here, away from the other students. I... I don't know where Safina is either. We haven't... We have a secret way in. But it only works for Safina. And now... I'm locked out and I can't find her, and... Hey, it's... I'm so useless. I got stuck out here on my own. I'm such a useless fool. Don't say that. You're not useless. I am. I always have been. I can't do anything without Saf. I'm a horrible friend. Maybe that's what you think, but we're both still worried about Saf. You said there's a secret passage you two use. Do you think you could show me where it is? Maybe, but... I know, you said it only works for Saf. But I know my sister better than anybody else. So maybe I can figure something out. The passageway is in the tool shed, outside the inn. Do you want to come check it out? Wait! Don't leave me here. I'll go with you. Please, don't leave me alone. Of course. Let's go. Saf had the spare key to the tool shed. Stock, the innkeeper, has the other one. Only other one. Hmm. Alright, maybe he'll let us borrow it. Petronella joined the party. The secret way into Ekenfell is through the inn shed, but we need a key.
That's a better balance. Now I have another character to reference it to. <laughs> hmm. Oh, if it isn't Petronella. Marie got you out of hiding, I see. Hello, Mr. Humphrey. Thanks for letting me stay here. You and Safina always keep me company on rainy days. We were, um, hoping we could borrow your tool shed key? A tool shed? That's where Safina's secret passage to Ekenfella is. That explains it. I wonder how you and Safina were always visiting off hours. We weren't... We didn't mean to... Don't worry, I'm not gonna rat on you. I got up to all sorts of trouble in my own school days. The key is in the cellar. But there's some strange magic blocking the entrance. I haven't been able to get down there all day. More strange magic. Here's the deal. If you two can clear up the entrance for me, the key is yours. Deal. We'll see what we can do. Oh, before you head down, I picked up some new supplies if you need them. Your sister's always good company around here. You're always welcome to the stock and barrel. Fire poker. Wow, that sounds specific for a fire user. Save. This? What is this? It's just fire. He said strange magic, so I thought it might be like this. I can take care of this. What was that? Magic? At least, I think. I've been able to do it ever since I got near Ekenfell. I've never seen magic like that before. You... Never had magic before? Now? No. I think all this magic stuff might be why Aikenfell is, is shuttered. Do you think Saf is okay? We both know she's been in worse spots than this. True enough. Come on, let's find that key. Cellar. Cellar? I hardly know her. Oh wow, it's worse than stock thought down here. <laughs> the rooms are floating. Who are you? Squishy. Alright, let's see what Petronella can do. Bubble Snap. Acid Splash. That's pretty intuitive. Ooh. Ooh, that was a lot of damage. Liquid-based. It's locked. Apples. Ooh. It's weird that you can't, like, interact with just random things in the environment. That's what I'm expecting. I don't like 
like that. Oh, I don't like that. Oh no. Don't do that. I feel like that bubble snap is going to be difficult to get the timing down on. gather up in a line. Oh, is it the sound effects? Fire sound effects are a little big. So maybe I could just turn those down a little. Oops. Why are you going after them? Really going out of your way there. Treasure. damage even then. And I her allies. Okay. 
But even if you do hurt allies, apparently it's not a lot, even if you get a break. <laughs> because I could not tell where that was going to go. Oh, there was a cat here. What do you make of this? You kids cleared the way. Great work. I don't see the key anywhere. Ah, it's in the chest right... Oh, it was right here. I guess it fell down below. I'll go fetch it. Oh, phew. I thought you might ask me to. I sure don't want to climb into some spooky smoking hole. Me neither. Good luck, kids. I'll be at the bar if you need anything. I did just waste a mushroom. So I might go buy a mushroom. <laughs> Okay, now. You can wait up here. Oh, it's gonna send me down regardless. No, I'll go down. Please don't leave me up here alone. <laughs> I wonder if that noise I heard just now was someone trying to get into my room, or if it was just someone being noisy outside. Because if it was someone trying to get into my room, it was a cat. For sure. But if it was Iggy, that would have been a success. And if it was Murphy, who knows? <laughs> you have power berries. Accessory does nothing. Of bombs. It's probably handy, especially for an alchemist. Always give the alchemist the explosives. Then again, this alchemist is a liquid user, and we have a fire user. Deacon's birthplace. Deacon's birthplace. Oh, shed key. Alright, we got it. Okay, let's go. I'm scared down here. False fight. Oh, that's not what I was expecting. <laughs> this is my birthplace, you tread upon. Eee! Hey there, big guy. We don't want any trouble. It's already too late. A new season is upon us. A season of fire. <gasps> and fury. Oh, it's... It's not like a gasp, it's a like an inhale I'm about to yell. <clears throat> what are you talking about? We spirits are the first sign of the days to come. Embrace the season of power and... <gasps> ah! That was loud of me. Good thing I have a water type. Acid type. Hmm. Oh, okay, you got a guard on the blow. I think that does something. Mario. I'm familiar with that move. Directly in the way. Okay, 
think I get it. That sounds like Murphy at the door. So it's like Ignite, but backwards. A lot of damage, huh? Yeah, I feel strange. Oh, uh, that's not an improvement. Hehehehe, <laughs> this is all just so wrong. I don't like it. That's how wrong it is. Oh, and I have to hit Marie if I want to. She'll be fine. Oh, she wasn't that fine. That was weird. Oof. You need health. I can't. Ignore that fact. Skull explodes. Ah. That was bad. Everyone's charged up. I don't like that. and stuff like that. Treat it like Ignite. Uh, don't line them up, I guess. Probably smart. That's fun. How do I bait them over here? Ah, uh, who knows. Ah, shoot. Ah, shoot. If she does not heal now, she will... Or they. 
mixing up my characters. Motivate. Solve. Hey, thanks. <gasps> oh my goodness. I'm so sorry. I don't know what came over me. Uh, oh, let me introduce myself. I am, um, I am Beacon. That's my name. Oh, hello there, Beacon. I've been asleep so long, I almost forgot. Asleep? Down here? Yeah. I don't know how long, though. Years? Centuries? Hard to say. Just wait for the time... For my time to awaken. And awaken you did. Sorry about that. When I awakened, I felt a huge surge of magic pass over me. I lost all control. It's okay. You're not the first spirit to attack me today. Do you know what the surge of magic was? No. I only know that it was my awakening time. But something is wrong. It doesn't feel right. For me, it feels like time has stopped. Marie, do you think? Yeah. I think whatever's causing this is coming from Ekenfell. I can sense it, beyond the walls to the east. Oh, oh. I hope you can fix it. I worry for my sister spirits, who will also soon awaken. I don't know if we can help, but we're going into the school to find out. Best of luck. When I've recovered a bit, I'll come find you. I owe you one for saving me. Are you going to be like summon spirits? I'm so lucky you showed up when you did. When I recover a bit, when I've recovered a bit, I'll come find you and you can fell. Heal. Us. Cat. Cat hers. The shortcut into Ekenfell is in the shed outside the inn. Shoot. There we go. I what was I coming in here for? I kept forgetting to lower the sound effect volume a little. That should be good. Mushrooms. Four should be fine for now. Chickens. Well, that's new. Oh. I have gems, right? I have one rare gem. 
Zane. I see you have a rare gem. Come back if you find more. I'll be happy to trade you for my masterfully crafted apparel. Now that, that is one of my finest treasures. I couldn't possibly give it up. Okay, okay. Quit making that face. I'll cut you a deal. If you manage to find ten sparkly gems, I'll let you have it. But they're extremely rare, so good luck. So these are... So it's rare gems for those, and sparkly gems are the unique ones. It's down here. A bird. That will attack me. With some houses. There's a secret stash of treasure somewhere in the woods around here. I think it's on the path that leads to the gate, but I can't find it. I saw that path, I just don't know how to open it. I'm scared to even go outside these days. Everything is weird around here. Luckily, I don't have to go far to stock up on stocked cider. Fire poker. I could have got one for free. Or I bought one. Wait. Okay. Very specific items people can get. Motivate really does help, huh? The door is locked. Back door. There actually was a back door. <laughs> That's some, uh, some Zelda S stuff. Oh! I've rather locked the back door. I'm watching the house while the owner is away. Please don't tell them I left it wide open. I hid something special under the table. You can take it. Just please don't wrap me out. A heart brooch. More HP and speed. Might want to do. Yeah. That would balance. speed. I don't know what to do with now yet. They are both a healer and a throw things person. Use the tool shed to beat. Content warning, mention, but no depiction of blood and horror. The passage is in here somewhere? Well, that, that was a weird way to say that sentence. Me. Yeah, but it's not a normal one. Staff made a magical route using that old fountain on, on the wall. I don't know how she did it. It's old magic. The wall is impassable. But she found a way. Ah, that sounds like the sister I know. Nobody could keep her cooped up for long. So, if it's magic, how does it work? It only works for her. She told me how to, how she does it, but it could I could never watch. She pricks her finger and drips blood into the bowl. Blood? That's kind of dark. 
Blood spells are old magic. It's forbidden to use. And very unpredictable. Sigh, Saf. It's no wonder she got herself into trouble. Well, I'm her sister, so we're blood related. I guess I'll have to give it a try. I guess I'll just have to try. I can't watch. Someone's squeamish. Ouch. So I just drip it in. And spooky noises start. How long does it take to... Hello. <laughs> We're in a dark cave now. Where are we? Shh. I forgot to tell you. Don't speak in here. What? Why can't we speak? Shh. I'll tell you after. Can I talk to this? This is the way back to the tool ship. We have to keep looking. Thank you for your telepathy. This is like the underground in Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. Okay, here it is. You have to touch the object from the real world to return to it. To return there. What was that? Oh no, it hurt us. We have to hurry. The worm. Chapter 2, Strange Alchemy. Strange Alchemy, Strange Alchemy, you? What was that creature? I don't know what it's called. I haven't actually seen it before. That was really freaky. Why didn't you warn me beforehand? I'm sorry. I, I didn't think it really existed. Seth told me about it, but I thought she made it up just to scare me. Hmm. Are you mad at me? Nah, I don't wor to worry about Petronella. Seth can take the blame for this one. Maybe if she didn't exaggerate so much, we'd take her more seriously. This shed is different. Are we in Ekenfell now? Yeah, we are. Alright, let's have a look. Little grounds. So this... This is the school Safina has gone to all these years, huh? Oh, students! Students, in my shed. Very strange. Mr. Sigbert! Not the strangest thing around here, I guess. He's the school ground groundskeeper. Other well, strange things are happening. The gate is locked and we had trouble getting in. Has something happened? Hmm. Where to start? The air? Heavy? The halls? Shifting? The plants? Won't sit still. Some are biting. Oh dear. Break over. Lots of work to do. Come see me if you need supplies. Wait. Have you seen any of the students around? We're looking for my sister, Safina. Hmm. Red-haired troublemaker? No. She's a slippery one on a normal day. And this is no normal day. I wonder if we have to fight the worm eventually. Mr. Sigbert is not the talkative type. Keep seeking fell looking so beautiful, though. So, any idea where we should look? I'll come, Murphy. Hmm. Safina's room is in the southern dormitories. We could try there. Good idea. How do we get there? Well, we would go south. <laughs> it's that huge stone building just across the schoolyard. Save kittens. Let me let Murphy in. Okay. 
so much to say. Do you want the stool or the chair? Come on up. What is it? I'm not sure exactly. I saw them before. It showed me something. Perfect. All I did was touch it. Come see. Ugh. I... I can't make... I can make it. That she was hiding such a thing. Ha. Ha 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 ha. Huh. I'm going to destroy it. And there's nothing she can do to stop me. She's coming. I have to hurry. Same thing happened before. I think it's a vision of the past. Crystals that show you the past? I've never heard of such a thing. Do you think Saf is okay? I don't know. But we'll find her either way. Let's go. Dueling Hall. Stay fit or get hit. Not locked, but the door feels like it weighs a ton. Can't budge it even a bit. Huh. So here's where the gate would have led us. This is the other side of the gate. That's a flower. Alright. Pretty easy to figure out. None of you are in a line. Oh, I don't like that. I wonder if that was going to be a status effect. That's why it didn't actually hurt. matter of the sound that usually has people's cats interested in this game. I have my headphones on so Murphy's not really gonna 
hear it, nor is he usually interested in screens. These thorns? No good. No good at all. These supplies? Maybe. Store 15 HP to a party member. Can be used in battle. Can be used anywhere. Interesting. Ten HP to a KO party member. I don't have enough money for it now. Guess he'll take this fire poker from me. Okay, actually, sacrifice the speed for this. Red earrings actually sacrifices speed for power. It's just plus two to speed. I got it. Okay. Not bad. Finally, where he can fell. Maybe Safina is in her room in the student storm. Raven's Nest and Bell Tower. Oh, the great raven that will protect us. It's fascinating that the school is not, like, the home base. It is, in fact, the... basically a lived-in dungeon-type situation. Murphy, what was that? Not a sneeze. Okay. There were three points where I thought that might be when I have to hit it. <laughs> Still defend when you're asleep. That's fun. Oh, you you messed up by waking her up. This is it. This is where they make students sleep. It's, um, ah, I had the same reaction the first time I saw it. I guess early architects thought every bu building should look like a dungeon. I'm glad the trend passed. But don't worry, it's actually really cozy and nice inside. Don't be silly, Bax. Wait, I know that voice. Let's get out of sight. Ibn, we must proceed cautiously. A bad feeling about all this. Caution? Don't be daft. What could possibly be more dangerous than me in this old place? I wish you wouldn't make light of it. Hey, with you here to protect me, we'll be perfectly fine. Now, let's away. Hired to protect you. Sure. That... What is that feeling? Someone is... That burning sensation. Bax! Bax, come quick! You just must see how many teeth this giant flower has. 
Oh, it can walk too. How adorable. Wait, no. Don't touch it. What is that? What? That was close. Ooh, was that Ibn Hoxley, the famous mage? What is he doing in Ekenfell? They're here looking for Safina. I already ran into them once. We dueled. I was hoping to overhear something helpful this time, but no luck. Y you dueled Oxley? But isn't he one of the most powerful mages in the coven? I doubt it. I defeated him rather easily, to be honest. It's that Bax guy I'm worried about. He knew I was here. What? Really? This is all so strange. It doesn't sound like they found her. Well, let's check her room anyway. She might be hiding. Make sure you're prepared before you proceed. Get low on items, visit Sigbert. School's hard. And the school yard to buy more items. It'll be fine. This is not good. There's normally a hall on the right side of this room, but it's missing. Things are out of place for some reason. Hmm. Well, cats have no problem walking through halls that aren't there. Actually save. I got distracted. Boy, man. There's an adorably surprised lock fastened on the door. Someone's dorm? Ah. Probably, yeah, they have high defense when they're in that position. Hey, okay, blue blossoms. Hey, Sprout. There's a tiny message scratched on the floor under the bed. You can call me Little Ghost. The thing I like to do the most is hide my art with a little clue. Just like I've done on Pillar 2. I want to read the book. Hmm, Pillar 2? I guess that's not Pillar 2. Or maybe. One of the bricks has a tiny ghost smile smiling ghost scratched on onto it. Into it. You poke it, just because that feels like the thing to do. Ah. Tiny ghost key. Ah. No. 
Now they can't heal themselves, right? No. Not with the skill. Stick the lane. It's like a slight delay from impact with a great. help you for the bed or not enough room on the chair for both of us that's better for my posture anyway hmm she'll be fine She was fine, actually. <laughs> oh, the bathroom. Perfect. Oh, that's an enemy. I thought it was a friend. Ain't that just the way? like the sound of that. Oh. I don't like the feel of that. A trap has been placed. Why are these things doing egg? In like the way I don't want them to. Like, what if a fly was a slime mold and also a hand? And also just the worst. Didn't get a co content warning about this one. There's a note on the wall. Since the incident, anyone caught using magic in the stalls will be severely punished. <laughs> Make sure there's no secrets. There's a tiny ghost etched into the one of the handle tap, tap handles. You turn it. Secret stall. Someone was using magic on the stall. Got a rare gem. Heck yeah. It's locked. Naturally. Tiny ghost key. The lock seems to shudder in anticipation. Ooh. Okay. 
there's tiny text scratched onto the back of the cupboard. I've drawn a little masterpiece. Behind, ugh, hidden in the three red seats. Starting first on the left, counterclockwise search them each. There are seats. Wait, counterclockwise. Is this the are these the ones they say? One, two, three. There's a drawing of a tiny smiling ghost on the bottom of the cushion. Give it a poke. Stairs? That's not what I was expecting. can see them. It's a tiny writing scratched into the back of the cupboard. Nope, not this one. So, the one that's guarded by this thing. Probably. Why are there flies here? Flutter gum. Not a fan. I'd like to destroy these flutter gums as soon as possible. That's no good. That's not enough to destroy it? Oh boy. Doesn't really help that I got the second one. it only like that. I can't move to the point there's an egg there. They're trapped. Alright, first off. This bitch. I don't... I can't... Okay. Thank you for not being so cool. I wouldn't have been able to move or do anything. Fine.
There's a tiny writing scratched. And the same thing. Sorry, not this one either. The hallway doors, they seem a jest. They're there, but another test. The true path will come in sight if you go left, right, left, and right. Doors. I'm not sure what you're talking about. Oh. True path has opened. I'm gonna actually. Ah. Murphy's lying on the floor now. Nuts. All that for loafers? This thing. They make me so uncomfortable. basically toggle if it's in defense or offense mode. But I only have two characters right now, so that doesn't make... Well, they'd be going four times in a row after this if this wasn't going to be... That was lag. It still, still did the job, but there was a bit of lag I experienced just now. It's not internet lag, it was fully computer lag. That's Safina's room over there. The one that's suspiciously alone. Heart block. This... What's this thing in my way? Hmm. It's a barrier, but there's something strange about it. It's shaped like a heart? Well, there's that. Barriers are usually meant to keep fiends and ordinaries out. But this one won't even let us pass. Fiends and ordinaries? Nice to be lumped together in that category. So, I'm sorry. I didn't mean... Don't worry now. I know you meant nothing by it. So this is Safina's room. So what so this is Safina's doing? Yeah, it looks like her work. There was a time I wanted to go to magic school. The day she turned 13, the raven came to Safina. She was so excited. She was a natural magician. But I had no talent, not a pinch of magic in me. So when I turned 13, the raven never came, of course. First I hoped I was just a late bloomer, and my time would come. That was wishful thinking. You're either a witch or an ordinary. It took me years to get over it. It's kind of embarrassing.
I guess I was right after all. I am a late bloomer. Really late. What was that? Ice. Oh, we're trapped. Is this glass? Uh, kitten? Hurry, this kitten. What? <laughs> what? Horrible <laughs> kitten, you surge. Uh. not use that enough to really get so I want the entire initial sound effect to stop first okay so there's a recharge to it oops it's just so difficult to target a kitten need to use a defense item. <laughs> Did I miss... Uh... Might really need to use a defense item. Where are the Super Sprout? Where did we get all these items? Let's not stay within range of multi-hits. making so much noise.
Sal is still recharging in that case. buffs like that you put another one on an adorable kitten. A rare coin and a glass hairpin. Okay, well, that just happened. Classic, classic movie line. I've never seen a cat use magic before. It seemed really familiar. Someone transformed into a cat, maybe? So we can't get into Saf's room. What's our plan B? We... I think we should try to find Rook. You and Saf's friend? Book nerd? Yeah. He's here for the summer too, and he's... Really smart. Unlike me, he'll probably be helpful. Hey, plant. Sounds like a plan to me. Where's this room? If we go through that door, it's on the ground floor. Alright, let's go. I didn't want to take that off. Is the hairpin okay? It's a defense and speed item. I what is my money at? Is that something? Oh, 64. All right, that's good enough. I can take the silver ring off. This hairpin is pretty good. Starting to go with a like a min max situation. What, Murphy? You want to get out now? You want to try to get in my room, and then you're like, hmm, maybe I'll be a little jerk about it. It sure is a video game. Hold on a sec. Murphy has left the building, Iggy has entered the building. <laughs> uh, but yes. This is Ekenfell. I don't know what to do, but my friend Brooke might. His room is on the first floor. And when I started playing this, all I knew is that it's about magic school and has Ivy Sarashu as the composer. 
Um, but other than that, it looked like a really fun indie game RPG with um, is that an enemy with a battle system that is like somewhere between Paper Mario and uh, Mega Man Battle Network. I'll put it that way. Like a tactical RPG type scenario, but with more. What is this? This thing is creepy. Okay. Iggy just up and left. The games do be hitting. Make it hotter. Cats being the save points, a lot of people have experienced their cats taking interest in the game, but I also have headphones on so my cats can't, like, investigate this. <laughs> Is their hot form hoggleable? No, you just hit them and it's good, but they're gone. Yeah, I get that. Something on the carpet. Air gem. Oh yeah. Like, it's also sort of a matter of expectations, but... I guess if... It's an indie game that isn't gonna meet your expectations, you might not even hear about it. You might not even see it. Meanwhile, you're gonna hear about bigger titles because they're in your face. <laughs> Alright, no secrets in this bathroom. I gotta fight another frog. Oh, what is that thing? The Great Grump is hangry. Uh, well, it's the Great Grump, so it did answer my question. <laughs> it's still charging. Do I have food items? I can give it mushroom? I can give it moldy shroom. It might like that. Corn berries. Wild corn berries. I want to see what this does. Okay. I want to see what the bomb does. Who can tell? It is a mystery. That's not going to hit multiple anyway. probably say there's a bit of, like, leniency. For, weirdly, I find that there's more, like, a leniency for big games on if they're fully good or not, just because people might love the IP. More so than there is for, like, um, an indie game. God, there's still an egg dropper. Oh boy, okay. I want to try this. I give the great grump.
Let's just try a simple small mushroom. Nope. Small mushroom. Doesn't count as eating food. Oh boy. We're gonna both get stomped. I thought it was one more ahead. My turn order. South should be finished charging. Let's get rid of you. Or let's not get rid of you. Or let's actually, yes, get rid of. Okay, cool. Oh shoot, I'm in stomping range. stomping range. <laughs> you know what I- another oh no, thing I'm sort of realizing though, when it comes to indie games? There it is. What is it? Murphy? Or Iggy? There actually is probably a leniency on- on it there too, because the expectation's just, dude, I have fun. <laughs> That's all. That's what it should be with games. You know, Ghost isn't all that easy, I tell you. The things students get up to when they're thinking- they think nobody's watching. Shudder. This poor ghost. Rook's room is dark. Oh boy, this is gonna be a character. Oh, visitors? It's about time. Oh ho ho! This is my lucky day. G Gilda? What are you doing here in the dark? Where's Rook? R Rook? Yoda? What? You've only got one person to worry about right now, Nell. That's me. Yoda, what are you talking about? Oh, no, you wouldn't believe it. I've always... my magic's always been so weak, right? Fizzling out, blowing up in my face, everyone laughing at me. But then I heard a loud crack, and felt a huge surge of energy. Wait, that's like... And then something happened. Something... Magnificent! Was that lightning? Oh ho ho ho. Isn't it just so... me? Gilda, how did you get such a power? That's not important right now. What's important is this. Lovely new friend you've brought here. She looks tough. Is she tough? Am I gonna have to duel her? This is Marie. She's uh, Safina's sister. Yeah, she's really strong. We're actually looking for her. Safina has a hot sister? We must duel. We don't want to fight you, Gilda. What? Yes, you will. 
because if you can beat me, I'll tell you what happened to Safina. You, you know? When you make up your mind, you know where to find me, cutie. Dang. These bitches is gay. Good for them. There hasn't been the uh, hint of any straight feelings yet in this entire game. But I'm here for it. <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, I mean... Actually, no, Yoda doesn't have lightning. <laughs> he could, if he tried. I hope you're ready, because... It's showtime. What is it like oh, cool. to be more than so adorned? Oops. So fast. She's tough too. <laughs> oh, this is getting good. Let's see how you handle this. I'm glad I got a chance to speak when the vocals weren't going, so I don't have to interrupt them. Oops. Oops. What is it like to be loved and so adorned? If I could be just as good as you will never have to wonder. Understand the timing for that now. Hmm. 
I... Why am I not winning? I'm doing so terribly. I'm better than this. Turns in a row? Can never get that. Too fast. Probably shouldn't stay within Zap Radius. But it's all Zap Radius. cake. What? Hey! Safina thinks she's so great. She's never lost a duel. But I defeated her. I'm the first. She doesn't get to look down on me anymore. Saf was pretty beat up. That's when headmistress Eldra showed up. She was furious at Safina about something. Headmistress took her away, but I don't know where to. I'll see you again, and next time I'll win. Ugh, so cute. Well, at least we finally learned something. We still don't know where Safina is. We need to get into Saf's room. I have a feeling whatever's there will lead us to her. If only we could find Rook. Are we on time? Probably do the next story beat. I should tie. So it's proud. Take care of him. More speed. That's three speed at the detriment of a defense. I feel like. That's equipment for Gilda. More defense, or more power and speed. That might be good. Oh, there's an immediate unequip oh, thing. Now they're kind of even. Okay. Rook! Oh, hey now. I've missed you. Where have you been? Feels like you've been avoiding me lately. I... I got locked out of school. But we managed to get back in through Saf's passage. So, are we just hanging out, hanging with strangers in my room now? Oh, no. This is Marie. She's Safina's sister. Saf has a sister now? She always has. You're usually not one for pranks, Petronella. Nobody's pranking you. 
you think we can get your help with something? Maybe. Things are a bit weird right now. I'm kind of working on my summer research project. All this weird new magic has proven a couple theories I have. Can't Saf help you out? We're actually looking for Saf. Do you know where she is? No, I, I'm not sure. Saf and I haven't talked much lately. Please, Rook. She's missing, and I think she's in trouble. We're stumped. We need your brains. It's Safina. She's always in trouble. She'll be fine now. It's different this time. There's strange magic all around. Head the headmistress took her somewhere, and coven mages are looking for her. Wait. The coven is after her? Ibn Oxley with a guardian called Bax. Oxley? The master mage himself? He's here? Is he signing? <laughs> Actually, he wasn't much of a master. Ahem. So you'll help us? Safina really is in deep. Safina really is in deep this time, isn't she? Okay, I'll help out. We can probably figure this out together. Catch me up on the details inside. So, uh, do we tell him his idol is a hoax? I think Marit should mention the hat man that she ran into. <laughs> Chair time. Hmm, interesting. I find it difficult to believe Gilda could beat Saf in a duel. I wouldn't if I didn't see her power with my own eyes. The surge of energy she described, the sun magic, it was the same for me. Do you think it's related? It must be. There's no... There are no records of fire or lightning magic. Do you think? Seth has something to do with this? There's no evidence of that, but something's definitely up. You say there's a magic force protecting her room? Yeah. I couldn't open her... Ugh. I could open her passage into the school. But this one wouldn't budge an inch. Looks like we're due for a library trip then. The library? Rook, we don't have time for... Look for Saf's borrowing records. If she learned the barrier spell from the book, we can find it. If we know exactly what it is, we might be able to break it. Rook, that's genius. Sounds good. How do we get to the library? It's south of the main courtyard where we were before. Alright, to the library. So the place that was blocked by thorns? Bray. Cotton pen. Boy's got bandanas. Oh, he's a fast one. I could make him faster. Okay, he's not that fast. He just doesn't have anything equipped yet. I have no idea what kind of thing we're looking at. Bathroom. Oh, we're over here now. Okay. <laughs> so these aren't all story beats going to get back at you, you know. She can try all she wants. She had it coming. Hey! Leticia! Oh, look who showed up. We were just talking about you, Saf. Don't worry. 
we had nothing but glowing things to say. Stuff it, Purdy. I know it was you who ratted me out. Me? I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. You got caught smuggling banned magic items into school. Safina the snake getting caught. You must be losing your touch. Those items have huge potential for magic research. There's no good reason they should be banned. Old Lady, Lady Eldra just has a crook in her wand about new magic, that's all. Dangerous magic should be in the hands of competent witches, not reckless goons like you and your loyal shadows here. Hey, don't call us. Don't let her bait you, Rook. I heard what I need to hear. Let's go blow things up in potions class. Wait, aren't you expelled? Oh my, no. Is that what you thought you'd accomplished? Apparently they were told I had a secret pa passage I was smuggling through. But even the headmistress could detect no such thing. They have no proof, so I'm off the hook. Oh, you. Losing my touch, indeed. Let's go. Why is she out to get us? Man, school drama. Ah, cool. The thorns are gone. Static, I guess. More thorns? Ah. Break time. Library, West Wing, study hall. Hello, sir. Oh no. Oh no? It's Gwenora. Nasty spirit who lives inside the school. She takes the form of a face and can appear in all kinds of places. Always tries to get a rise out of folks. She once appeared as on the door of the bathroom so I was in. I screamed so loud. Just try not to take the bait. Hmm? Big face. Oh. Students. Loud, smelly students. Gwenora, we need to get into the study hall. Oh? The bookworm needs in the library, does he? He spends more time in here than with his friends. Oh, be quiet. That's not true. Not entirely. Oh, there are more. The little sniveling kid. Not crying to yourself in the stalls today? Wow, you really are a piece of work, aren't you? Hmm? Sniff. If it isn't the foulest of them all, the red-haired brat who stabbed me in the eye. We haven't met you, ghoul. But I assume you're talking about Safina. Ah, well you do seem quite forgettable. I think I'll stay... Right where I am, thank you. I can see why Safina applied the makeover. Hey Rook, how do you get in with this jerk in our way? Hmm, I'm not sure. Gwenora is rather stubborn. Professor Leora. She knows how to ward off Gwenora. I've seen her do it before. Where can we find the professor? Sadio Liara is the alchemy professor. She probably the she's probably the smartest professor in the whole school. The alchemy labs are north of here, across the schoolyard. Students work too hard. We need to take more breaks. You need anything? Glow stick. Song. But what if I find either of these in um treasure chests? 
That would be a waste of money. Overalls. Okay, what I'll do... I'll get... Oh, okay. Yeah. I'll give Nell the overalls, and I'll give... Nobody the other thing. Oh, hell yeah. Never mind, we're, we're so good on money. <laughs> Loafers are for loafing. And if I find any in treasure, then... I won't have spent excess amount of money. A roost. Uh huh. The thorns are blocking your path. Hmm, these thorns are a problem. We'll have to take the exit out the back of the dormitory. I didn't know there was an exit. This is kind of a lull. I think I'll probably... We're almost at three hours. I'll probably stop here. Actually, 5.30 exactly. It's cat dinner time. You can't leave the cats waiting during a... Cat for a cat game. Um, I'm really curious how long this is going to take at this point. It's probably not going to take as long as Mother 3 did. I sort of hope it doesn't. Uh, but, yeah. I'll just keep playing this until then.